This is Mo Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the Apex Legends error code 30005 that you may be facing when you're trying to play Apex Legends. So let's get right into this. So there's a couple of ways to fix this error code, and we're going to start off with the first one, which is opening up CMD, and we're going to right-click into it and run it as administrator. <laughs> Alright, once this opens up, we're going to do a couple of things in here. All right, just let's press, press, press it. Yes. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is type in IP config. If I can spell it right, config slash flush DNS. So, oh, I, I spelled it wrong. IP config slash flush DNS. So it's going to say Windows IP configuration successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. So this is the first thing we're going to do. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to write net sh winsock re <coughs> reset. And you're going to see it's going to take some time, but it's going to essentially reset the process. And it'll tell you successfully reset the winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. So restart your computer, try to play the game and see if this fixes it for you. If this still doesn't fix it for you, that's perfectly fine. We're going to move on to the next step, which is we're going to go to our search bar and we're going to write network connections until you see something like this, which says view network connections in the control panel and these like four computer thingies pop up. We're going to right click into what we're connected into. So either Ethernet or Wi-Fi and go into properties. So I'm connected via Ethernet. We're going to click into where it says Internet Protocol version 4 TCP slash IPv4. You're gonna write and you're gonna click into properties. Yours is gonna be on automatically on obtain DNS server automatically. We're gonna change it to essentially manual, which is use the following DNS server addresses instead. And we're gonna change it to 1.1.1.1 and alternate to 1.0.0.1. We're gonna press OK. We're gonna close. We're gonna just essentially let this run a course. Turn Steam back on. Most likely you should have Steam off. And then go into the game and press play. And <laughs> you should be good to go. And you should not have these errors persist any longer uh the final thing you can do which is what you which what you see what i'm doing right here essentially either do an update or reinstall the game and hopefully that fi final thing fixes your issue itself because a lot of times it could be a file got corrupted this happens a lot especially with pc games files get corrupted even console games you always want to kind of reinstall as like a final resort and kind of go from there so that's basically it if you guys are with the video please smash that like up. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe click that notification bell i'm gonna be out peace